Installing Comfy UI locally can be a nightmare. Today, I'll show you how to run Comfy UI in the cloud using RunPod with zero setup and no errors. Let's get started. Before we actually launch Comfy UI, we need a RunPod account. RunPod is what we'll use to rent a powerful GPU by the minute, and this is what makes Comfy UI buttery smooth even on low end laptops. Just go to runpod.io. The link is in the description and sign up with your email, Google, or GitHub. Before you can launch anything, you'll need to add a payment method and load a few dollars onto your account. GPU pods won't start unless you have credits available. Here's the good news. If you use my referral link, RunPod will give you a bonus of anywhere from $5 to $500 when you add your first $10. That means your first Comfy UI sessions are basically free. Just click the Add Credits button, choose your card, and load at least 10 bucks. Even $10 is enough for hours and hours of Comfy UI usage on a 4090. Comfy UI needs a place to store your models, LoRa's, workflows, and outputs. This is called network storage, or a persistent volume. Without it, every time you shut down your GPU, all your files would be erased. Here's how to set it up. 1. On the left menu, click Storage. 2. Click New Network Volume. 3. Choose the region closest to you, or the one where you'll run your GPU. 4. Give it a simple name, like Comfy Storage. 5. Choose your size. 5 to 10 gigabytes is perfect for beginners. You can increase it later, but you cannot shrink it, so it's best to start small and add more as needed. Click Create Network Volume. This will be your permanent Comfy UI storage. Now it's time to deploy your Comfy UI pod. 1. Go back to storage. 2. Click the volume you just created. 3. Select Configure Pod with Volume. Now, look at the top filter bar. This is important. You need to verify three things. GPU is selected. Secure Cloud is turned on. Your network volume is selected. Once those are verified, scroll down and select the GPU you want. In the next section, you can name the pod anything you like. This is very important. Select the purple button, Change Template. Search DOS AI for my template. DOS AI Comfy UI Manager. This template fixes the hardest part of Comfy UI, the setup. Here's exactly what it does automatically. Installs the newest version of Comfy UI installs Comfy UI Manager, installs Civic Comfy and KJ nodes, creates the perfect folder structure, starts File Browser and Jupyter Notebook automatically, no terminal commands, no dependency errors, no CUDA mismatches, no broken nodes, no troubleshooting, everything just works. This removes the painful, confusing, error-prone setup that causes beginners to quit. Instead of spending hours fixing installation problems, you can start generating in minutes. And if you want to support the channel, or you just want your Comfy UI setup to be beginner safe, use this template. It costs nothing extra, and it unlocks the smoothest Comfy UI experience you can get on RunPod. Next, make sure SSH terminal access and Start Jupyter Notebook are checked. Scroll down and click Deploy On Demand. That's it. Your Comfy UI pod will begin setting itself up automatically. Once your pod turns green and the ports are ready, click the Comfy UI button. This will open a brand new window, your Comfy UI workspace. Before we generate anything, we're going to build a simple, clean workflow so you understand how Comfy UI works. If you don't want to build this yourself or you want more advanced workflows, you can get my pre built JSON files on Patreon. Link is in the description. You can literally drag and drop them onto the canvas and they'll load instantly. But for now, let's build it from scratch so you understand every part. Start with a blank canvas. Double click anywhere. Type load checkpoint. Select it. This node loads your model, also called a checkpoint, which is what actually generates the image style, quality, and overall look. Next, we're going to add the K sampler which is what actually generates the image based on your prompts. Click and drag from the model output on the load checkpoint node. Let go and type K sampler. Select it. Comfy UI connects them automatically. 
Now we need our prompts, one positive, one negative. From the clip output on your load checkpoint node, drag out once, release, search text encode prompt. Drag out again, release, add another one. Now rename them. Double click the title, rename one positive prompt. Rename the other negative prompt. If you want, change their colors using the color icon. I like green for positive and red for negative. Makes things easy to see. Now connect your prompts to the K sampler. On the positive prompt node, drag from conditioning to the positive input on the K sampler. Do the same for the negative prompt, connecting it to the negative input. This tells the sampler how to interpret your text. Next, we need to tell ComfyUI what size image we want. From the latent image output on the K sampler, drag and release. Then search empty latent image. Set your width and height. Common starting sizes are 1024 by 1024, 1280 by 727, 68 by 432, or whatever your model recommends. Now we need to turn that latent data into a real image. From the latent output on the K sampler, drag out, release, search VAE decode. Connect the VAE output from load checkpoint to the VAE decode node. Then from VAE decode, drag out, release, search save image. This saves your final result. We have a workflow, but we don't have a model yet. Let's install one. At the top bar, click the manager button. Choose model manager. Change the type to checkpoint. Now search for Abyss Orange Mix 3A1, my favorite beginner model. Click install. You'll see the progress bar appear at the bottom in the log window. When it finishes, open manager again. Click restart comfy UI. When it reloads, refresh the page. Now open the dropdown on your load checkpoint node and select the model. Now enter your positive prompt, what you want to create. A simple structure is subject plus style plus lighting plus detail words. For example, a silver knight standing in a forest, detailed armor, cinematic lighting, highly detailed, sharp focus. In the negative prompt, add anything you want to avoid. Blurry, deformed, extra limbs, low quality, nudity, artifacts. Before we generate, let's break down the K sampler settings so you actually understand what they do. I'll keep this beginner friendly and you can always experiment later. The seed controls how similar your images are from run to run. If the seed stays the same, the image will be almost identical every time. If the seed is set to zero, it means completely random. You'll get a new variation every time you click run. Control after generate. This tells ComfyUI what to do with the seed after each generation. Fixed, keeps the seed exactly the same. Increment, adds one each time, creating small variations. Randomize, gives you a brand new seed every time. For beginners, keep it on randomize because it gives you fresh results every click. Steps are how many times the image is refined or cleaned up. More steps generally means more detail, but also slower generation. A good starting point is 15 to 30 steps. CFG controls how strongly the AI follows your prompt. Lower CFG equals more creative freedom. Higher CFG equals more strict to the prompt. For most models, start around seven to eight. It keeps things detailed without overcooking the image. The sampler controls how the AI turns pure noise into a final image. Different samplers create different looks and variations. You don't need to overthink this now. Just leave it on the default or use whatever the checkpoint creator recommends. The scheduler controls the sequence of noise steps used during the diffusion process. Think of it like giving the sampler the roadmap for how to build your image. Again, beginners can leave this on the default or switch to whatever the checkpoint creator suggests. Denoise controls how dramatically the image changes during generation. 1.0 means full generation from noise. Lower numbers mean subtle edits or gentle changes. For normal image creation, 1.0 is perfect. But feel free to experiment. Some of the best results come from testing your own combinations. And that's the sampler. Don't worry if this feels like a lot. Once you play with it a few times, it becomes second nature, and you'll quickly learn which settings work best for your style. Now click Run. The very first time you run a new model, it may take a few seconds to initialize. After that, your generations will be instant. If you like the image, just right-click on it and select Save Image. 
it downloads instantly. Or if you want to batch generate and sort later, go back to your RunPod pod. Click Jupyter Notebook on port 8888. Open the folder RunPod-Slim Comfy UI Output. This stores every image you generate automatically. And that's it. You just built a full Comfy UI workflow and generated your first image. Now you can try new checkpoints, add LoRa's, build advanced pipelines, or use the drag and drop workflows on my Patreon. If this helped you out, hit like, subscribe to the channel, and check out the other tutorials I made for upscaling, automation, and more Comfy UI guides. See you in the next video.